it's Jordan. Welcome back to my personal style series. So today I'm going to be sharing a quick video just talking about highlighting and concealing because I know that this is an area that a lot of women struggle with, but there really is no need. So the first most important thing when it comes to highlighting or concealing is it's more about highlighting than concealing. You want to show off your assets. You want to show people what it is that you truly love about yourself. And this is important for a few different reasons. One, you're going to be more confident when you feel better and when you're focusing on the best qualities of yourself versus trying to hide all your flaws, you're going to feel good about yourself. Not only are you going to feel good, you're going to feel comfortable and being comfortable fuels confidence. And when you're confident, there's nothing anybody can say to you about your style and how you feel and how you look because you know that you are the bomb. Because knowing what you have going for your body is going to work multitudes for you. It's going to make it so much easier to pick out tops, so much easier to pick out bottoms, and how to combine them to look your best. And so, again, it is less about concealing. And yes, concealing is important in some aspects, but it is more about highlighting and showing the world what the awesome qualities about you are. And so obviously we're just talking physically in this sense, but let's face it, you have really awesome qualities and you are beautiful beyond just your physical appearance. So the second thing, when we're talking about highlighting and concealing, really it's about drawing focus to what you want to highlight in order to divert focus from what you want to hide. So the power of a statement necklace, bold lips, or even some really, really bomb shoes is so understated and a lot of people don't understand that just those things alone are enough to conceal all the other flaws because people are going to be so focused on your necklace or your shoes that they're not even worried about your arm flab or your tummy rolls. And I put those in quotes because, let's face it, not everybody has all these body hangups that we think that we do and I definitely am victim and I have had my fat days where I feel really bad about basically my entire body and then there are other days where I feel really good. But the point is you want your clothes to help you remember all the good qualities you have about your body and you want your outfits to show people all the good qualities you have about your body. When we're talking about highlighting, it is obviously about strategically placing your clothes or your accessories on your body to highlight what you want to show off. It's not about, okay, how can I, how can I put these colors around my waist so no one sees my waist or how can I, how can I wear these skinny jeans without looking fat. It's about showing off what you have. For those of you who are more concerned with concealing, I will cover that really quickly. Um, the biggest thing that goes a long way is hem lengths. And so I'm referring to the length of your sleeves, the lengths of your tops, and the lengths of your pants or dresses or skirts. This goes such a long way, and a lot of people do not even think about it. Where anything stops should never be at the widest part of your body. And I will say it again. Where anything stops should never be at the widest part of your body. This will highlight it. This will bring attention to it. And if that's not what you want, that isn't what you should do. The goal is to have it stop just past if you're trying to hide it, or just above if you're trying to highlight it. So if you have really nice shoulders, you want to go ahead and have your sleeveless tops stop before your shoulders. But if you're not a big fan of your shoulders, but are a fan of your arms, that's where cap sleeves come in because then it will stop and it will highlight your arms. You see the next biggest thing in terms of highlighting versus concealing? Do not wear clothes that are skin tight. Again, do not wear clothes that are skin tight. Your clothes should graze your body, not hug your body. And there is a difference. And you all have seen it, and I know you've seen it, so we're not going to talk about those people. You want it to flow over your curves, regardless of if you're going for oversized or well-fitted. You don't need it to be squeezing and holding on to you for dear life. That is going to show so many more flaws than having something that grazes and hugs your body in the right places. And the last thing I want to touch on again in terms of concealing, this is nothing new. This is something that a lot of people have probably heard day in and day out. Darker colors, muted patterns, not that you have to steer away from patterns, but they should be darker, they shouldn't be as loud, they shouldn't be as bright, should go on areas that you're trying to conceal. Now this isn't to say you can't wear bright pants on an area you're trying to conceal, but to counter that, you need to highlight what you're trying to 
draw people's focus to was something even brighter and even bolder. So that's why people suggest doing muted because trying to come up with something just as bright that adds to the outfit but not competes can get a little bit difficult. And so you guys want to make sure that you don't have any clothes in your closet that counteract what you're trying to do. And so if you haven't seen my video, How to Clean Out Your Closet, watch it, check it out, learn from it, embrace it, get rid of anything that is not working for you. You dictate your outfit, regardless of the colors, the shapes, the structure, you are in charge and the point is you want to tailor your outfit so that people focus on what you want them to focus on. You get to call the shots. You are in power. Embrace it. Embrace it. You call the shots and you want to make sure that people are focusing on the best parts of you. When you know that that's what people are focusing on, that's what you're going to focus on and you're going to and you're going to forget about all those flaws and all those problems you have with your body and you're going to remember how amazing your body is, how beautiful you are, and what a spectacular person you are. And that's really all that having style and getting dressed should be about. It shouldn't be a hassle. It shouldn't be a struggle. It should be exciting. So I really hope, guys, that this has kind of helped you, inspired you, and empowered you to dive deeper into your style and to find what works for you. If you want more in-depth questions, one-on-one -on -one consultations, I do offer that. The link is in my description box as to how you can see the services that I offer. And I do have distance consultations available, so don't think that if you don't live directly in my area that we can't work together. I can work with you. And if you have any questions or comments in general, go ahead and leave them below and I will answer them. And I will see you next week for another installment of my Work Incorporated series. Bye, guys, and thanks for stopping by.